going to be on this makeup look right here. This is definitely not your everyday look. It's just, just me playing around with a ton of glitter and me being creative. So, so I'm going to stop rambling and let's just jump right into the video. I haven't even started and I feel like this video is going to be forever long. As long as it's like under 20 minutes, I think I'm okay. <laughs> Please bear with me guys. I am testing out a new camera here so you can like really see every single like mark on my face so please let me know down below if you guys see like a difference in the quality or anything like that both in like the footage as well as like the audio i'm gonna moisturize my skin using my tasha water cream for primer i am gonna go back into the milani prime shield mattifying primer i just want to test it out a little bit more just because the first time i did use it i was using it with you know an oil and a new foundation and all of those things so i just kind of want to see you know, how this is going to work on like my normal foundation. I'm going to first go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is in the color tan. I'm just kind of pumping out a couple of pumps on my little tray here. And then I'm going to take the Jouer High Essential Coverage Foundation. This is in the color caramel. And I'm only using about like a quarter of a pump of this only because it's super high coverage. So I'm just going to mix this up using my little spatula here. I say like the hardest thing is blending foundation on your forehead when you already have your brows on. For cream contour, I'm going in with my Graptobian palette, of course the darkest shade. And then just blending that out using a small dual fiber brush. Now for concealer, I actually want to use one of the light shades in the Graftobian palette and the color that I'm going into with is Desert Sand, I believe. So I'm just going to put this in the like the normal areas. I'm going to quickly set everything using my trusted Laura Mercier Transition Powder. I am going to be putting on a little bit more powder than I normally do just because that Graftobian palette is a little bit more creamier and not as like thick as a normal concealer. Set everything else and bring some color back into my face. I'm going to go into my Maybelline Better Skin Powder in the color Coconut. Just using a big fluffy brush here and kind of digging it into the powder and lightly tapping and buffing this in. The bronze and contour, I'm going with my shade and light palette from Kat Von D. Of course, going into the middle shade here. Spliff light time, girl, I get ninja. Miss right, why never you linger? Move quick like Jackie Chan Ninja. When me in ya, me tell her. For actually contour, I'm going to take a wet and wild brush. And I'm going to be mixing these two shades. And just putting it right in that hollow. I'm going to take a big dual fiber brush and just really lightly blend everywhere we put that contour and bronzer just in case I put a little too much anywhere. For blush, I am going in with my Wet n Wild Color Iconic Blush. This is in the color Mellow Wine. For my Bonds of Powder Highlight, I'm gonna set a base and I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlight. This is in the color Wisp. But I know me, I sing me, I pray she no move from my drink. She has a fine on ginger. And then taking the Milani Stellar Lights palette, this is in the shade Rose Glow. I am going to go in with the middle shade and just lay that down. Honestly, if you guys haven't tried this Milani palette out, you are missing out. Please go pick it up. <laughs> now that face is done, I'm going to go in and set everything using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So I'm going to kind of be jumping around with one palette and then going in with a couple of single of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. But the first palette we are going to be going into is the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place. And I am going to be using Zulu as my transition shade. And I'm placing this shadow really high up in the upper crease area. Also, don't be afraid to put on a lot of shadow at one time because these shadows really blend really nicely. And this is a really intense look anyway, so you really want the impact of every single color you're applying. I'm now going to go into a pencil brush here and I'm going to be taking Americano from Makeup Geek. And with this shade, I'm going to be kind of shaping the cut crease. I'm going to go in with a fluffy crease brush here and I'm picking up a little bit of that transition shade. And I'm going to use that to kind of blend out that shadow. Now that we have that laid down, I'm going to go in with an even smaller pencil brush. And I'm going to be taking Corrupt from Makeup Geek, which is just a regular black shadow. And I'm basically doing the same thing with this shadow we did with Americano, which is kind of deepening up that cut crease. 
I'm going to take that first pencil brush we use and pick up a little bit of Americano and I'm going to use that to lightly blend out that black shadow. Now what I am going to do off camera is I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and cut out this cut crease. And now that we have it laid down, I'm not going to be setting that concealer. I'm going to go straight into that dark blue shade. I'm going back into the masquerade palette and mixing these two shades. I'm also going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray just so I have the least amount of fallout on my face. And I'm focusing this shade in the outer V and the inner corner. For the middle of our lid, I'm going in with Zola, spraying my brush with setting spray. Now my little trick to make that middle shade pop, I'm going in with a white highlight shade. And I'm just going to place this right on top of that middle shade. Now a really important step is to actually go back into that black shadow with the smallest pencil brush that you have. And I'm going to go over that cut crease to accentuate it more. And then taking a little bit of that transition shade that we use and make sure everything is blended. What I'm going to do is just take off this tape and you have that nice clean line and all that mess that was on this tape is not on your face. Now for my lower lash line, I'm just going to kind of breeze through this because I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with the top lash line. I'm going to be doing it with the bottom. So I'm going to be taking that dark blue, putting it on the outer corners and that light color in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off camera, apply some wing liner, some lashes, as well as some black liner in my waterline. For lashes, I'm going in with the Style Teddy from Kiss. And don't get me wrong, I know this still looks really crazy and really intense, but we're not done yet. But what I did do off camera was apply my lips, and I used my lip liner from Wet n Wild. This is in the color Chestnut Maroon, and I went in with the World from MAC. And now I'm going to be going into the glitter before I put any mascara on and I'm going to be of course doing it like the teardrop area right here and for glitters I'm going in with three the Makeup Forever Halo Sparkler and these glitters I got actually from I think Amazon so you can just kind of go on Amazon type in like face glitter and you'll find things like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some music and kind of zone out and let you guys watch only because there really isn't any type of technique. It's just a matter of applying the glitter where you see fit. But what I will say is I'm going to be using my NYX glitter primer as kind of like the glue to hold the glitters on my face. <laughs> individual lashes on my lower lash line and I really really like the way that this looks especially with my hair up so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up comment down below and also please subscribe if you haven't already